What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Dragon Raja. This is a brand new mobile MMO that just came out today. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, considering the fact that this is an MMO, it's going to be pretty much impossible for me to show you every aspect of this game in a single video, but I'm going to try. Now, currently I'm like one EXP away from level 39. So I'm nearly 40. There are 60 levels in total in this game. So I figured, you know what? Now a pretty good stopping point to kind of stop and let you guys know what my early thoughts and impressions of Dragon Raja are thus far. So here we are, Dragon Raja. This game's biggest claim to fame are the fact that in this world, you can go off and do anything and be anyone, not to mention amazing combat and amazing graphics. I can definitely confirm those second two things. Graphically, in my opinion, I know Black Desert Mobile had like the best graphic MMO title for a little while. Let me just tell you, it's been snatched away. In my opinion, Dragon Raja completely completely blows Black Desert out of the water. Maybe, maybe you can argue on a technical level, Black Desert Mobile has better graphics, but for me, the aesthetic, the artistic direction, the diversity in the biomes, everything in this game just looks so much more believable and alive. Like, I, I kind of felt like in Black Desert, all of the zones kind of felt the same, almost no matter where you went, but not in this game. I can assure you. Um, and I, what, what I'll try to do in this video is kind of take you through a few of the biomes so you can see just how different all the zones are. So that is that. So here's my character. Um, the, let's go ahead and give props to Black Desert. I still think that Black Desert has the best character creation tool um, created, period. However, I'm going to say something a little different here. So if you are like really artistically inclined, I feel like you're going to be able to make better looking characters in Black Desert Mobile just because of how robust that tool is. However, if you're not as artistic, you're going to be able to make a really cool character. You're going to be able to make a better, more unique character in this game if you're not as artistic. All right. I don't know if that made any sense, but hopefully it did. So here's my character right over here. Like I said, I tried to go for like this Android vibe where she's kind of stoic. She has no emotions. That's what I tried to go for. Um, she's an assassin. She's a female. She's not a lolly. I want to make sure that's clear. She's waving at her. Um, her name is FG. And of course, I'm in the waifu crew. Our guild is open. So if you want to apply, go ahead and do so. Um, the assassins in this game are actually pretty cool. Um, her weapon is actually on her back there. And she can flip between range and melee. So let's go ahead and show that off next. And um, we'll go into a different part of of the world and also show you a little bit of combat as well so let's go ahead and just click on this button here now this is a slight spoiler for the rest of the video that screen right there is gonna pretty much tell everyone that's ever played world of kings and perfect world mobile this is going to kind of tell you what this game is like it is at its underpinnings right now on the surface this is a darn good looking game here we are kind of in the main hub town this is basically the ogremar of uh dragon rajas so you're going to see lots of people out here you can ride your mount around of course there's a lot of people here so you are going to see a little bit of pop up here but i will tell you that performance wise the game is actually pretty solid um, i have all of the graphics up on max i'm playing currently on ld player um, so this is kind of what the what you can expect when it comes to really busy areas but when you're in you know instances and things like that obviously your performance is gonna go through the roof so that is that like my little bike here there are plenty of different mounts I'll show you those in a little bit um, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of combat here um, so go here um, we're gonna go ahead and click this this will kind of auto path us to the dungeon um, NPC. I don't want to wait for a party, so we're just going to go in there solo. <laughs> Whoops. We're going to go in there solo, even though I'm probably not strong enough to do this, but we're going to be all right. At least I'll be able to kill some of the trash mobs. So that's that. So, like I said, I gave you guys a slight spoiler when it came to what this game is very similar to. Um, it's... It, like I said, maybe only like 33.2% of you watching this video are actually going to get this comparison. But this game plays pretty much exactly like Perfect World Mobile. Like, <laughs> at its core, it's, it's way prettier. It plays way better. The story is 10 times better. The voice acting is 10 times better. The flow of the game is 10 times better. But it is, at its very core, it plays nearly identical to perfect world mobile um so do keep that in mind like i said i'll show you more of that here in a second here we are inside a little dungeon here this is the very first dungeon that you're going to come to i love the fact that the world is like coming apart all of these things are kind of floating in the air reminds me a lot of blade and soul for sure very very cool and check this out you also have some um, things that you can interact with in the environment. So I can kind of shoot my little grappling, grappling hook 
jump over here and fight this World of Warcraft Naga over here. Hopefully I can defeat him. This is, like I said, this is a, a group dungeon. So maybe I can do this here. Um, so like I said, um, I can switch between range as well as melee. Um, my range stuff is more about kind of grouping up enemies um, into one big pile and then sh just kind of DPSing them down with AoE. And then of course my, uh, my melee stuff is all about getting close to the enemy, backstabbing and killing people that way. Um, the game does have auto combat, but once again, it plays nearly identical to perfect world mobile where it does have an auto combat and you can also customize what the auto combat does so if you have a rotation in mind that you really want to use that does the most damage and the default one sucks you can always load in your own custom uh auto flow combat mechanism <laughs> how many more words do we need fg that's it look at that i got an umbrella don't do it fg don't do it ella Ella, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there you go right there. Um, but I will say this game play, and I say this a lot, but this game plays way better on your phone, 100%. When it comes to just kind of navigating combat, it plays way better on your phone. So I highly recommend you can kite a lot better. Look at this, watch this. Teleport! <laughs> I'll show you some combat here without actually hitting any mobs here so you can see this a little better. A little targeted AOE here. Right over here, I'm going to switch to my melee stance, go shadow form, whoop, shadow step, give it, give it, give it. <laughs> so pretty, pretty cool. Very, very nice. All right, so let's continue on. Um, I don't know if I can beat this boss. This boss is actually pretty strong. I think we're going to leave right now. Um, let's, let's just engage him and see what happens. Let's see. Get him, FG. <laughs> nope. We, we got to leave. We got to leave. <laughs> we, we out, we out, we out. But yeah, so that's uh, that's combat, that's dungeons in the game. And like I said, I want to spend a lot of this video kind of showing you what you what you can expect to do while you're playing this game. Because um, I feel like that's the very best way to kind of describe an MMO. It's just to kind of do it live and just kind of flow through it. So um, that is that. So back over here to the main town. Um, now as far as it being like a red dot simulator, it's not too bad actually. Um, man, we're getting a lot of slowdown in this town. Hey, what you, what you doing over here, lady? <laughs> getting a lot we're, let's try to go over here towards the edge of town here a little bit and we'll be we'll be doing some zoning here in a second so don't you worry so i'm um, not quite the red dot simulator um there are a lot of little functions over here that are all housed in this little button here um, but for the most part the ui is pretty clean um text wrapping is not great on the on the quest here so it's kind of hard to see these but uh, it's not that bad um, if we kind of take the 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 uh, additional functions here from the top all the way around um there is believe it or not a hero collector in this game i know so let's actually let's do some gotcha pools right now um i think i have a do how much does it cost to actually do one ah come on we'll do one we'll do one for the youtube it cost me actual in-game <laughs> gyms here but i'm doing it for you we're gonna do a gotcha pool right now hey i got a four star <laughs> i know some people are like what is going on youtube you know what let's just do a seven pool let's go all in 30 percent off if we do a seven pool let's do it the right way <laughs> oh snap we got a rainbow i bet you did not expect to see gotcha pools in an mmo <laughs> we got a four st five star mia hello hello what's up there Oh, that guy looks actually pretty cool. All right, and then we, everyone else is pretty much a dupe here. So why are we doing gotcha summons in an MMO FG? Well, um, in addition to um, recruiting these allies, you can also, um, and this is where this is where it really turns into Perfect World Mobile right here. So this is actually a pretty good segue. So right now, uh, I'm level 38. I'm trying to make my way to level 40 so I can unlock more of the gameplay modes and continue through the main story and be more and more powerful. Um, eventually, I'm gonna get to a point where the game is like, hey, you cannot go any further in the main story until you do some events to level up. So this is where it's gonna look a lot like Perfect World Mobile, a lot like World of Kings. This is going to be your event screen. And this is where all of the side activities are housed. So you have like your crafting stuff here. Um, you have your challenges, which are gonna be your dungeons, um, hopefully raids, and then world bosses. You have athletics, which is gonna be your PVP. And then you have your time limited stuff here as well that um, either uh, have to be at certain times and certain windows here, which is in my opinion, not my favorite type of gameplay mode. Um, the things that I was here for today, and this is, this is gonna be, here's another comparison to throw in here with it. Perfect World Mobile mixed with Maple Story. 
I know, I know. So these events right here are literal quizzes. You're hit, you're, you go to these and you just answer quizzes about the real world, not just in-game stuff. There are some in-game quizzes that kind of ask about NPCs and gameplay functions in the game, but a lot of these quizzes have to do with like real world stuff. Someone, like one of the quizzes I got earlier today asked me who the first Nobel Prize winner was. I don't know, I had to guess. I got it right, can't prove it, but I did. <laughs> so this game is not going to play anything like Black Desert, for example. There's going to be a lot of side activities, a lot of mini games, there was this mini game where I was bouncing around like a Monopoly board and every single time I landed on something I had to go talk to a certain NPC. There's going to be a lot of that. There's Fast and Furious, so you got to, you're going to be racing around a track. Um, there are going to be quests that are going to send you around the world to take pictures. Um, so it's Ragnarok a, a little bit. So Ragnarok, Maple Story, Perfect World Mobile, World of Kings, all mixed in one. Final answer. There you go. Um, so let me show you <laughs> back to the uh, those little allies here. So this game does have a track and true dispatch mode. So what I can do with all those characters I just summoned here, I can send them on dispatch, get off my screen. I can send them on dispatch modes um, to say, all right, so I need an adaptive um, NPC, so I'll send you. I need someone that's sensitive and I'll send two of you. They go out, come back in an hour, bring me back goodies. Same thing here, I need a leader. I need someone that's sensitive and do, got another sensitive person there. Expected verdict A, good enough for me. Dispatch, um, let's take a look here. Adaptive and a leader. Adaptive. These are my only four left. Boom, boom, boom. Send them out. Come back. Goodies are on the way. So you have a hero collector and you got dispatch missions inside an MMO. There you have it. Um, so that's the allied function there. Um, as far as motor, there are a lot of mounts in this game. Um, this mount is free. You just get it flat out. Um, you can do a little bit of customization with it as well. Spray paint it, evolve it, which I don't know anything about just yet, but more to come on that in the future. You got a surfboard, skateboard. You got a what is this, a hang glider? You got two plates <laughs> floating in the air. Now, this is the mount that I want, ladies and gentlemen, a chair. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have my sitting waifu right here. Very, very nice. Little bunny rabbit balloon. Uh, this one, look at this. Are you seeing this? Hey, you, you, you looking at this? This is, you sit here. I, I think you sit here. I've never seen it in, in like in motion, but I'm pretty sure you sit here. <laughs> what is this? Can I like, I thought I could like look at it somehow. Anyway, you got like a heart there. You got a bootleg Ferrari. This pink well, which should be the most expensive mount, but it actually isn't. I think you can get this one rather cheaply. Uh, but you got a pink whale there, a mecha dragon. This really cool looking rose nightmare horse with a really long, like that one looks really good. I, I really like that. I don't know what this is. Like a floating skull. I guess you sit inside of it and you kind of pilot it. Look at that! <laughs> it actually has an animated 8-bit game plan. <laughs> and a propeller. And a propeller. There you go. Um, so lots of different mounts in the game. And like I said, you do get one for free very early on. So that is that. Um, you can also have guilds in this game. Right now we are running the waifu crew. Um, the guilds in this game are absolutely massive. 160 members. Um, so what I'll do... Um, Right when this video is posted, I'm just gonna start accepting anyone that applies to the guild. So if you wanna be on the waifu crew, you made it to this point in the video, just apply. I'll instantly invite you into the guild here. Um, as far as what you can do with the guild, um, there are buildings that you can kind of um, save up currency to uh, to uh, upgrade and unlock to give you bonuses and pass the bonuses to your entire guild. Um, you also have these weird things. And like I said, a lot of this video, I wanna just kind of show you what you're going to be doing. So you gotta do 50 of these a week for your guild. And this basically generates currency and points for your guild. Once again, I wanna give you guys the full picture of what you're gonna be, be doing. This is not a combat simulator. There is combat in the game, like, yeah, for sure. There's dungeons, there's raids, there's questing and stuff like that that all have dungeons. But a lot of this stuff, I just did the quest. I'm done, right there. Right there, you felt it. I literally just did the quest right there in front of you. Um, this quest right here for your guild just kind of sends you around the world, having you click things, pick up things, look at things. Maybe sometimes you'll kill something. I don't know, it depends. Um, but that's what you're gonna be doing for guild quests. Right now I'm setting a random trap somewhere. Guess what? Quest is finished, next. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, we got a got a orange one here, or yellow one. Let's see what this one's all about. Eliminate some uh, atom, little atom robots. So let's go ahead and do that. Hanging out over here. Hey guys, beat up this robot really quick. And, oh, there's another one. G, oh, this one's actually pretty potent. Pretty potent there. 
Um, but that's kind of what you're going to be doing for your guilds. Um, so once again, you're going to have to do about 50 of these quests a week. Don't burn yourself out in one day, trust me. From a person that played Perfect World Mobile and got to max level two times, uh, doing going through these and trying to do them every single day and trying to min-max all of these events every single day, it's, it, you don't, don't do it. Whatever you do, don't do it. <laughs> um, all right, we're already done. We're already done with that. All right, no more of these guild quests. We're out. See you later, Adam. We're, we're on our way out of here. Um, where do, like I said, hey, get off of him. <laughs> Turn this combat off. Um, but like I said, from a person that played a lot of Perfect World Mobile, one of the one of the cons of this system is the fact that if you really want to min-max, you really want to uh, maximize every single day that you have in this game and get the most levels as you possibly can, it's gonna, you're going to be, you don't have to, but you're going to be, you're going to feel kind of pushed to do these every single day. And unfortunately, there, there's so many mini games and so many quizzes, and that might be fun the first day, maybe day two, maybe day three, but how about day 17? How about day 18? Uh, how about day 34? That, that's, where I, that's where I felt that Perfect World Mobile kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Making people, not, and I hate to say making, because you don't have to do it. Like, you, you do not have to do those dailies every single day. But that event tab is going to be kind of like your catalyst to power. So you kind of are forced to do it every day. And like I said, some of those tasks, walking around the world, picking up stuff, clicking on this, tapping on that, are just, it's just not going to be fun long term. So I feel, I feel like this game should not have taken that aspect of Perfect World Mobile. I felt like that was the worst part of it. And this game is kind of built on that foundation, unfortunately. So we'll have to see how it pans out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe at the top levels, you don't ha really have to worry about it anymore. We'll have to see. So um, wardrobe, by the way. So everything that you've seen me wear thus far in this video, I got for free in the story, which is very, very nice. It reminds me a lot of like, calm down. Kind of reminds me a lot of like Black, not Black Desert, um, BDO. Um, what, what does BDO stand for? Oh my God, Blade and Soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> BDO Blade and Sl What is it? Why why do people call that whatever? I'm it's late. It's super super late. Um so you get a lot of wardrobe and costumes for free. Good ones too. So once again, knocking Black Desert Mobile completely out of the water by giving you really cool costumes that make you feel like, you know, you're a cool looking character. Now, you're not, you're not gonna get any type of progression gear. The gear that you loot off the ground and things of that nature to kind of put in your character, none of that's gonna show up. It's all about your costume. Get off my screen. It's all about your costume, so keep that in mind. Uh, now that we're here in the item screen, by the way, let me give you guys a little couple pro tips here. Um, this game does have the trans, uh, transfer system once again from perfect world mobile um so don't get rid of these pieces of gear until you transfer all uh, actually these are upgrades these are upgrades so don't get rid of a piece of gear until you transfer all of the stats away from it so right now this is the gear that i'm wearing this is the gear that i just took off but i can actually take these stats off of the hat that i'm replacing and put them on my new gear so make sure you don't get rid of the gear until you actually do that. And then once you're done, once you get all the good stats off of it, then you can dismantle it. So don't dismantle it until you transfer it. So transfer it first. Uh, I don't need strength, actually. Actually, I don't need this at all. And then, of course, pay attention to your stats, depending on what your class is. So a little, little small pro tip from FG. <laughs> so that is that. Um, so yeah, we went over ally motor um, skill system here. Pretty pretty straightforward. It has a nice quality of life. You can just hit upgrade all. It'll upgrade all of your skills all at once. Um, you have a talent tree that's going to unlock slowly as you kind of go throughout the levels. And there is a degree of customization here as well. So not all assassins are going to be created uh, created equal. Um, I have kind of like a healing talent here called Heroic Sonata. Um, but you can have one that's going to increase the damage that you do to mark targets or this triple variation. So you can do a little customization on your talents as you move along. Here's an additional tree here that's going to continue to unlock. And then you this is the... Uh, this is the um, ah, the autoplay combat uh, setup tool that you can use there as well. Um, other than that, um, the career is like the crafting stuff that we're going to talk about in a later video. We're going to talk about that. Social's pretty straightforward. Club's pretty straightforward. You also have like this rune system where you can insert um, runes on this little... This is basically just like a rune system totally. I can put like intelligence runes here, gems, I'm sorry, dexterity, con constitution to increase my passive stats on my character. Pretty straightforward, um, but that is pretty much it. Like I said, uh, very good game. Graphically, artistically, 
I love like the just just traversing the environments are just really really good. Um, not to mention the main story, and I know this is like the last part of the video, but hey, it's an MMO. Um, the story is solid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I don't mean like I don't mean that in like a sarcastic way. It's actually a pretty solid story. All of the main uh, story uh, dialogue is voice acted, and I would have to say seven out of ten voice actors and throughout the story have really good voice acting, like good, good, like single player good. Some of them are not not the greatest, but they don't really detract too much. Um, and we'll kind of end the video off with a little bit of main story uh, interaction here. I think you still owe us protection money. If you want to do business here, you better pay up. That's actually not bad. I'm actually okay with that guy. So um, that's where I kind of want to leave it there. Um, I don't want to spoil any main story here for you, especially if you're kind of interested in um, kind of being... Ah, uh, oh, come on, you're going to jump me? <laughs> there you go. But the characters are... Char ah, great camera angle, FG. Well, I can't get a good one. <laughs> it's all over the place. I can't get a good camera angle. Um, the characters in the main story actually have their own motivations and desires. Um, there's actually like a, a, an affinity system. So if a character says, hey, you want to go to the store? And you're like, no, I don't want to go to the store. You're gonna, you'll get like anti-social points. And those anti-social points have like lasting effects on your character as well. So it's actually pretty interesting. Um, definitely take your time in the story. Uh, it, gives, it gives you the, the story kind of piecemeal. Um, you're, you'll hit level milestones where you can't continue on. So just enjoy it while it's there. I wouldn't blow past that. It's not going to be like all of like, it's not going to be like Black Desert Mobile where the story is just like, why am I even reading all this text? It's like a waste of time. It's not like that at all. The characters are interesting. They have their own desires, motivations, and aspirations. And uh, some of them are kind of likable. So I would go through the story, take your time, enjoy it. Um, but at the very end, like I said, do keep in mind that... From a person that played a lot of Perfect World Mobile, I see a lot of that in this game. It is definitely a prettier rapper, for sure. 100% is in a prettier rapper. I'm trying to get a good camera angle. Um, but I can see the underpinnings of Perfect World Mobile. Um, so be careful on just kind of doing your dailies and burning out. Do the things that you want to do. Right, my, my biggest advice to you, just do the things that you want to do. Don't just do things because you feel like you have to do them. Just because, I can't get a good camera angle. You know how you have to kind of like go against a wall to kind of make it zoom in a little bit? <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, do the things that you want to do, right? Don't just do things because you feel like you have to do it to, to get this power level and that power level. Because once you get that power level, you're gonna be burnt out, right? So just play the game how you want to play it. That is my advice. Once again, why did I say? like that. My name is FG3000. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Later.